Donegal is synonymous with good music and the lineup of new and emerging talent from across the county is extremely impressive. In series one, we feature the likes of The Plea and Mojo Gogo, and in this series, we look at a new and emerging band from Inish Own, Shaman Delhi. Two young Bunkrana men, Angus Friel Lawrence and Josh O'Hagan, are beginning to make a name for themselves with their distinctive brand of intelligent dance music. They call themselves Shaman Delhi, and as Angus explains, once they came up with the name, it really stuck. It was a name that just kind of came out and uh, it just kind of stuck. We thought it was a great name for a band and then... So uh, we just decided uh, to make music, but at the time whenever we were starting to make out music, we, we weren't taking music seriously. We were just kind of messing about and then... Um, I suppose then about a couple of years afterwards, after we got used to using software and using music programs, that we kind of decided to take it seriously as well. As Josh recalls, what began as a bit of fun developed into something that was more than just a pastime. We uh, made friends around the second year and um, we found some software, the software we used to make music on our friends with Peter when we were about 16 or so. Mm. And we kind of uh, messed around that for a couple of years and then it got kind of serious. They were interested in rock music, but they soon began to broaden their horizons. We were into like, you know, just rock music and then uh, we got a hard drive from my uncle, sent over from England, mm. with all the stuff he listened to. And there was like, you know, it was mainly rock and stuff like that, but there was kind of like stuff like Aphex Twin mixed in there with a drum and bass, so that's kind of what got us into mm. that music. So where does the band draw its inspiration from? Yeah, there was a lot of T Power versus Sam Kelta, that probably was one of the tracks that kind of got us in the, in the electronic music as well, which is a very early jungle track. BBC Radio Foil. Welcome to the program. You're listening to Electric Mainline. My name is Stephen McCauley, and this is Shaman Delhi. Getting airplay can be difficult, but Shaman Delhi have been helped enormously by the exposure that BBC Radio Foil's Electric Mainline presenter Stephen McCauley has given them on his show and he is clearly impressed by their talent. I first heard them about four or five years ago, and when I heard them, there was a couple of reasons why I liked them. First was that I could tell that they listened to the kind of music I did, and I could hear bits of Boards of Canada, bits of AFX Twin. But what really got me was the effortless melodies that were subtle on the one hand, but really, really insistent on the other. And uh, that, was, that was what got me first off. So how does he describe their music? I don't see Shaman Deli as being a dance act as such. I don't see them belonging in clubs and that kind of thing. Because uh, it's not really about the beats with Shaman Deli, even though they are very strong. I see them as being about soundtrack, about cinema. I see them about being visual. And I can imagine them on the soundtrack to uh, an, an incredible film. And I think that that's where they draw a lot of their influences from anyway, from the world of cinema, from the world of that kind of visual sound as well. So uh, certainly I can see them going down that road. I introduce to my right, Shaman Deli, Shaman Deli. Now the band has launched its debut album, and the reaction has been positive. A bright future surely beckons. Chris Ashmore, Donegal TV, Bunkrana.